Hello once again, this is Ben from UMPC Portal. I've got another touchscreen friendly game I'd like to show you. Um, this one is called Fun. That's with a PH. And um, this is a physics sandbox. It's actually less of a game really than a simulation because um, it doesn't really have any any goals initially. But um, it's a really interesting application that lets you um, re uh, simulate a lot of different physics interactions and you have a lot of tools to make that happen. Basically, you're just going to draw whatever you want to see, and um, there's a lot of different uh, characteristics that you can change, like friction of objects, air resistance, gravity, all that good stuff. So, um, as you can see, all the different tools to create things are um, represented on the screen with large buttons that are easy to tap, even with my tiny stylus here on the screen. Um, you can just go ahead and start out with the plane tool to make a floor which will be the ground for uh, whatever things we decide to simulate here. Uh, if you hit the object menu button up here, you get this nice um, little tool tip that'll let you pan around the scene easily, basically using gestures. If you just click right on the um, little four-way arrow here and then drag your mouse around, that's panning from side to side. But you can't see it because I'm on an infinite plane. I'm going to drop an object here for reference. Now you should be able to see. I'm just panning, basically completely using the touch screen. It's really nice. Um, same goes for the zoom. If you just click on the magnifying glass first, up and down will zoom you in and out. And everything is vector graphics, I believe, so basically you can zoom in as far as the game will let you, and it's all up res. You're not going to get any jagged lines. Um, so basically you can create whatever you want given the tools that you have. Um, my favorite thing to do in this game probably to liquefy things and I don't know why I guess it just kinda looks really convincing actually from a 2D standpoint so I'll just draw a couple blocks right here I'm gonna fixate them with the fixate tool so they can't move um, I'll just drop a square right in here and then I can right click which mine is bound to um, hold to right click actually that's not working for me Just use my mouse um, Go to Geometries, hit Liquify Selected, and voila. We've got a little bit of simulated water in there. And that water, of course, interacts fine with other objects. Things have buoyancy. Um, get a smaller circle in there so you can see. Oh, that must be a heavy circle. If we want our circle to float, go to the right-click menu. You can go to Geometries and adjust a whole ton of different um, characteristics for each individual object, like friction, or density. So in this case, let's turn the density down. And I believe if it's below 1, then it should float. So I'll turn it down below 1. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It was buried underwater. I guess I have friction or the uh, density down too low. Turn it up a little bit. There we go, that should be a convincing floating property. A little better, I'd say. And as you can see, I mean, objects displace water and interact correctly with other objects. As you can see, as I'm, whoop, as I'm rolling the circle against this box over here, it's actually rolling because the friction um, is interacting. That's causing it to roll. The nice thing is you can completely pause the simulation with the pause and play button up here and just draw whatever you want to your heart's content and then play the simulation and make a lot of cool things happen. I mean it's so easy to create content with this game. Just pan over here, say I want a car. I pause my simulation so I can make this box. Just let it float. Uh, draw a circle. Oop, that's not a circle. Draw myself a circle here. Put that circle right here. Now we can right click on the circle and go to geometries, add center hinge, and right where that hinge is placed, it's now mounted um, to the block behind it where that hinge is. And now I can turn, I can clone this actually. So it'll have all the same properties. Hit the clone button. Just drag this over here. Add another center hinge. And now it didn't take me, what, 30 seconds to make 
nice little car that we can fool around. And the options to this thing are just endless. I mean, I can click on one of these hinges here, turn the hinge into a motor, set the motor speed, the RPMs, the strength. It's really cool. Power this thing. Um, and just so I don't have to build all this for you, I'll show you some quick um, preloaded scenes. Something pretty cool is this tower kill one right here. And um, all they've done is just use all the in-game tools to make a, a little cart that's going to fire a ball. And if we start the simulation, you see what happens right there. Lots of convincing physics. Great game to play. Um, I'd recommend trying it with your touchscreen computer. I think you'll have a lot of fun. Be sure to check out UMPC Portal for other touchscreen friendly games.